about to get into making this dish, um, I'm going to end up taking this for lunch. What's up, everybody? This is Natasha, and I am about to show you all how I make one of my favorite dishes. It is a cauliflower dish that I've been making three times now, and it's really, really good. I found it on Instagram, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you all. Excuse the whole roughness of my hair and my look. I don't really care. I'm about to get into making this dish. Um, I'm gonna end up taking this for lunch. And so I'm gonna show y'all how I do this dish. It's really, really good. And y'all should give it a try. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you all in a second. Be right back. All right, so this is the cauliflower. All you have to do is wash the cauliflower off. Uh, take all of the excess under the cauliflower, wash it real good. I put salt on um, pepper. The salt I use, I don't use regular salt. I use Himalayan salt, which I'm almost out of it. Um, I use pepper from the farmer's market. Got this from the farmer's market. And I use onion and I also use garlic. And those are the items that I put on the cauliflower. I preheat my oven to 400 and I am going to stick the cauliflower in the oven to, oops, well, it's okay. Well, the foil will be fine. Stick the cauliflower in the oven. Now, we're in my pan. It's my trusty old, old pan that needs to go. But either way, in my pan, I'm going to use heavy whipping cream. Now, yes, we are on a health kick, but heavy whipping cream, if you look, ooh, if you look at the nutrition facts, 50 calories, right? Zero sugar. I mean, um, it is really not that, that bad once you think about it. So don't let the heavy part scare you. So we're going to put heavy whipping cream in there. And we are also going to season the heavy whipping cream with all of the items that I seasoned the cauliflower with. Not too much. And then we also have this cheese here. This queso, quesadilla. And... Case, case, okay, so yeah, and this Fiesta blend we're going to use in the pan to make the heavy whipping cream. So I'm going to come back and show y'all how the sauce looks once I'm done. Okay. All right, y'all, I am back. So we are on the stove with the heavy whipping cream. You want to use a whisk if you have one. If you don't, you can probably go to the Dollar Tree and get one. They're not expensive at all. So as you can see, it's bubbling a little bit. I've already seasoned it. I've already added some cheese in it. I just realized I didn't give you all the measurements, and I actually don't know the measurements. <laughs> I think the girl in the video did link the actual measurements of this particular sauce. But, I mean, once you start cooking it, you can just eye it and make sure that you're not overdoing it. The first time I made it, I overdid the heavy whipping cream sauce. And it was, the cauliflower was swimming in it. And I was just like, that is way too much. Even when I had to clean the bowl, you know, scraping it after it had gelled and everything was just not a good look. So, I'm going to turn the fire down a little bit so I don't burn the sauce but yeah that's all i mean you just constantly stir it you know so it doesn't burn um and yeah you and so it gets a little thick and you'll know when it gets thick because when you pour it in the pan originally it's really light so as you begin to it begins to warm up you add the cheese you'll feel the thickness as you stir it and then i'll be back to show you all the finished product after the cauliflower gets out of the oven Okay, y'all, I am back. The cauliflower is done. As you can see, I sprinkled some Italian seasoning on it. I had took a chunk out right there <laughs> just to taste it. But as you can see, the, she, um, the heavy cream sauce is on there. I also didn't let y'all know that you want to let it um, cook in the oven for about uh, 30 minutes. And then it will be ready, the cauliflower. But... Here it is, it's done. If you have any questions, just comment below.